Hello, I'm Rob, and this is another results tutorial. Welcome back, YouTube friends. Today, as we paint Mage Mormont from A Song of Fire and Ice from Cool Mini or Not. As always, I like to start out with the faces of my minis. So here we are with some Vallejo model color beige red. As always, thin your paints down with a little bit of water and take your time. Next, we'll add some Citadel Riking Flesh Shade to the face. Remember not to allow it to pull up too much. If it does, just dry your brush off and mop it up. And here we are back again with the Vallejo Model Color Beige Red. Uh, here we just want to leave the deepest recesses on the uh, forehead and the eyes, but go ahead and clean everything else up. adding a little bit of basic skin tone to our beige red. And here we wanna just pick out the tip of the nose, the tops of the cheekbones, and the forehead, and her lower chin. For the hair, I'll use some Vallejo Game Color Earth. There's a little hair on the left side that is pretty hidden by her uh, hel helmet thing. Then what looks like a little braid down the front on the right of her tunic. Uh, I missed these at first and had to go back and get them later. For shading on the hair, I like to use Citadel Earthshade for its deeper brown tones, which mix really well with the Vallejo Game Color Earth. And after that's dry, we want to pick out the higher areas of the hair with some Vallejo Game Color Desert Yellow. Also, you might not want to thin this too much as we need some control over the paint here, so take your time. For the cloak, I wanted to put a uh, nice dark base on it, so uh, here I'm going to be using some Vallejo Model Color Black. And we're only going to use this on the, on the hair sections of the cloak, not the inside uh, hide sections.
On to Vallejo Model Air Camo Pell Brown for the outer garment. This brown is rather translucent and it took me several layers to get a good coverage. Uh, when using it, just remember to let the previous layers dry before going back over them or else all you'll be doing is just picking up the paint you already put down. Now for the tabard. I wanted to give it a good dark base, so I decided to use some Vallejo model color black green. Adding in a little bit of field green to lighten the color and here we're just going to focus on the top of the chest and the top of the folds on the lower side of the tabard. Try and leave some of the uh, shadow areas. Vallejo Game Color Beastie Brown on the gloves. This is probably one of my favorite colors when doing leathers. I really like the orange tones that this brown has in it. Back to the tabard this time with some sky gray and we're going to be picking out the edge sections of the tabard. 
Uh, it's just that those little thin strips that go down each side of it. So uh, you don't want to thin in your paint a little bit too much here because you want some control over it and do your best not to spill over onto the green sections we've already painted. Next come the belt and the scabbard of the sword with some Vallejo Game Color Parasite Brown. So after putting this color down, I decided that I really couldn't stand it very much. And I went back over those areas with uh, Beastie Brown and Terracotta. Uh, you might be asking yourself why I'm showing you this. Well, it's all part of the process. You know, putting paints down, deciding whether you like them or not, and then going back over them. So I thought it was relevant, and I left it in. And here we are with the aforementioned Vallejo Game Color Terracotta that I'm using to cover up that Parasite Brown. Uh, mainly we're just going to be covering up the scabbard with it. Back to the cloak, this time with the Vallejo Game Color Leather Brown for the inside sections of the hide. After uh, putting this down, I wished I'd used something that was a little bit darker, but uh, I decided to go ahead and stick it out, and I, I think I kind of enjoyed it, the way it came out in the very end. Next, on to the metal sections. The belt buckle and the greaves, the hat, the, uh, the piece on her head. And for this, we're just gonna use some Vallejo Model Air Steel. Now for the headpiece, I couldn't decide if I wanted that to be cloth or metal, but I went ahead and I painted it in, in the, uh, the Vallejo Model Air Steel, although I can't imagine that'd be very comfortable on your head after a while.
for the cloth sections of her clothing, mainly just around the elbows, I decided to use some Vallejo Model Air Light Gray. For that fancy spiked weapon she's hanging off her shoulders there, I decided she deserved a fancy wood. And I made it out of mahogany. You could always use a lighter color, even a white wood. I'm sure both of those would look great too. I just, I enjoy mahogany. I like the color. And so that's what I went with here. And for the business end of that spiked weapon she's got there, I went with the darker metal. And for that, I used Vallejo Model Air Gun Gray. Back to the cloak again. Uh, here we're going to be doing some light dry brushing and for that I decided to use some Vallejo Model Air Light Gray for the main for the major areas of it and then uh, we put a little bit of light brown right down the middle of it. Now for some shading. Normally I like to uh, shade and highlight as I move through the miniature, but on this one I decided it would probably be easier this way to just shade the whole thing at one time. So we'll be covering the whole mini, except for the hair in the face, which we've already done, with Citadel Known Oil. Just remember not to let it pull up too much in the flatter sections. If it does, just dry the tip of your brush off and go mop it up.
now after the known oil dries we can come back and we'll start on that outer garment I guess you can call it a, a coat but we're gonna come in with our original camo pale brown leaving the recesses and just hit the race spots For our final highlight on the coat, we will be using some golden brown. Just do your best to leave a little bit of the camel pale brown showing. Onto the tavern with the straight field green this time. Uh, once again, we're just doing the top of the chest and the folds on the bottom of the tavern. to that field green we can add in some pale green and for this we're just going to hit the highest sections of the chest and the folds on the lower sections of the tavern Beasty Brown to highlight the gloves, belt, and boots. Now I gotta ask you, is your mini missing half a foot? Because mine is, and she looks a little weird without it. I was trying to decide if that's the way the miniature was supposed to be, or if it was a molding error. <laughs> but sure enough, she looks funny with only half a front foot there.
Now for the inside of the cloak area, we're going to be using our leather brown again. This time we want to try and uh, stipple it in here and there. And what that'll do is that'll help make the cloak look like it's a little worn and older. The metal sections we can just highlight with some Vallejo model or steel, hitting the edges of the spike on the weapon, the belt buckle, the greaves, the tip of the scabbard, and that uncomfortable helmet she is wearing. Cleaning up the handle of her weapon here, I'm just going with straight mahogany. Uh, you could choose to add in a little bit of light brown or something for a super highlight if you felt like it. Though I decided to stick with just a straight mahogany. The tabard again with sky gray, just cleaning up the outside edges and do your best not to get into the green sections here because it will not be very easy to cover back up at this point. And the last section for today is going to be the fur side of the cloak with some sky gray and some Vallejo model air golden brown. Personally I've gone back and forth on whether I really like the way this looks or not and I think I'm going to go back into it and put some earth shade on that fur to try and help tie it in to the rest of the miniature. I think it's probably just a little too light right now.
And here we are with Mage Mormont from A Song of Fire and Ice by Cool Mini or Not. As I was saying, there are a few things that I think I want to go back and try and clean up or uh, highlight a little more. But for now, this is what we're sticking with. Remember to like, subscribe, and share to see more videos like this and to help my channel grow. As always, feel free to leave a comment below. Just one roll. Make it great.